Hi, kindergarten mathematicians. This is Miss Faze, and we are ready for a story problem. Let's go ahead and get into it. There were 10 pink flowers and 11 yellow flowers in the garden. How many flowers were in the garden all together? There were 10 pink flowers and 11 yellow flowers in the garden. How many flowers were in the garden all together? There were 10 pink flowers and 11 yellow flowers in the garden. How many flowers were in the garden all together? All right, friends, now it's time for you to think about it and say the problem on your own. Go. Good, now let's get together and solve this problem. What happened first? Hmm, let's go back into the problem. There were 10 pink flowers. How do I show that with my cubes? Yes, I put 10 cubes to represent the 10 pink flowers. Get ready and count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm, let's see what happens next. And 11 yellow flowers. What do I do now? Mm -hmm. I put 11 cubes to represent the 11 yellow flowers. Get ready, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my goodness, I have so many cubes. What do I do next? So this would be our eleventh one. Yes, we're going to count them together. Get ready and let's count all of these together. Hot finger ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's count again. I think I did not touch each cube. So let's count one more time. Get ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. See, it's really important to recount because I think I missed a cube and now I know my answer is 21 and not 20. So. How many flowers were in the garden? 21. And how do I write a 21? A two and a one makes 21. Good job. Now we're going to solve the same problem using a different strategy. We're gonna use our nice neat circles. Get ready to solve with our nice neat circles. What happened first in the problem? Yes, there were 10 pink flowers. Let's go ahead and represent the 10 pink flowers with how many circles? 10 circles, get ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. Now let's see what happens next. And 11 yellow flowers. Get ready to represent the 11 yellow flowers with how many circles? 11, good, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we have to count them all together to find out what? How many flowers are in the garden? Good, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Notice how we got the same answer that we did with our cubes, 21, even when we work with the circles. 21 is a two and one. Awesome, friends. That was great work. It is time for us to celebrate our good, good work. Hmm, what cheer should we do? Let's do the Hulk. You ready? Get ready. Point to me and I'll point to you. You are incredible like the Hulk. Nice job. Let's go ahead to see what problem you are going to solve on your own. Ooh, this one is about some insects. Let's see what this problem says. There were 12 ladybugs and nine ants on the leaf. How many insects were on the leaf? There were 12 ladybugs and nine ants on the leaf. How many insects were on the leaf? One more time. There were 12 ladybugs and nine ants on the leaf. How many ants were on the leaf? All right, superstar mathematicians, it is time for you to solve your problem. Make sure you show all your work and have an awesome, awesome day. Bye.